Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 21, and this is war number 6, and we're going up against an alliance called Homicidal Maniacs Incorporated. Now I remember that name, and we have faced them before in the past. I don't remember how our battles went, but we are also quite different from when we last faced them. So, I scouted out my path, and... I had a couple of fights that I was a little concerned with. Starting with this first one, Hitmonkey. I have not fought Hitmonkey really since he entered the contest. And this is the first time I believe I'm facing him in war. And of course they chose Stubborn, everybody does at this level. Uh, and if you didn't notice, we went up a tier, um, I don't remember when, but we are now uh, tier two. So, difficult battles ahead. We've not lost a war this season yet. So, we're trying to make this number six. All right, so I'm boosting up because I'm not familiar with fighting Hitmonkey, and especially on this node. So, I chose to go in with Omega Red because he really doesn't need to be firing off a lot of his specials. He can take them down with those spores and his damage all right so i'm going in here and you can see i'm trying to delay a little bit to get the spores on him uh you see like right there i was delaying just a little bit all right and then i decided to do this because look at his health is going but then he did this and i went wait what my health just half gone i almost had a heart attack you know, in the beginning of the fight, everything was looking good. I'm looking at his health, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, this is going to be an easy fight. No problem. And I'm like, well, let me just lock in some spores, you know, like I normally do. But with Hitmonkey, you probably don't want to knock him down, and you saw why. All right, now I can evade that, but I haven't practiced recently, so it came a little bit quick. You know, that first part of it is followed by the second part very quickly. So you have to like dash and then dash. You don't wait for uh, that second projectile to come at you. You need to be evading, all right? Next up, we've got Sasquatch. You notice a theme here. They chose stubborn. Uh, now, Hitmonkey is not a stubborn defender. Um, he doesn't have hashtag defense, uh, defender, um, I think defense. But Sasquatch does, okay? And I don't like fighting Sasquatch because I hate long fights and he has a lot of health. And then he gains a health regen towards the uh, end of his life, you know, when he's under 40%, I believe it is. Um, but fortunately, I have fought him quite often. And even though Stubborn made him a little bit trickier, Nick Fury handled it just fine. I also have a point in despair. I didn't max it out this time because I'm maxing out deep wounds because of Nick Fury. But the uh, despair per debuff will slow down their regen. And of course, Nick Fury puts up a lot of debuffs. Now, I could have taken this Emma, but I was worried about my next section. Okay, uh, so I did not mess with her. I could have fought her but I was trying to preserve it. And I had someone that I was gonna fight along the way, but they had already cleared it. I went to bed, and by the time I got up, all of that was cleared. But this guy here, Dragon Man, made me very, very nervous. So nervous that unlike with Hitmonkey, I went to do a duel so that I could practice fighting Dragon Man. I could not find a proper dual target. I typed in Dragon Man, tried it without a space, with a space. Don't see a dual target, at least when I went to look. So now I'm thinking, okay, so I'm going to have to fight this guy blind. Now, I remember fighting him and he wrecked me uh, in the uh, event quest where he uh, entered the contest. So I'm boosting up. Kabam has given us so many boosts. I have um, at least 15 in my overflow right now. So there is zero reason not to boost up. 
I don't know if that was Kabam's intention, plan. Are they going to be making these nodes um, with the, you know, understanding and the knowledge that we will have boosts? I hope not. Um, war is already uh, something I don't enjoy. All right, now, what I plan to do for this fight. Uh, if you don't know Dragon Man, he has a power gain, and his power gain is pretty hefty. Combine that with the fact that he's also a stubborn defender, he has hashtag defense, and the node that I'm having to deal with, I was extremely nervous. So I said, well, we're gonna bring in Warlock because he does have a little um, power control. So we start off and I'm watching his health bar, okay? You see the suppression that's part of the node itself, not his abilities. So I fire off my special one. Now I'm running suicides. And of course, Warlock is immune to uh, bleed and poison. So he's a pretty decent uh, suicide champion. All right, and you see here, I'm just trying to dash and dash and, and evade him because unlike with Nick Fury, I don't have anything to counter that indestructible. And you see, he backed me up into the corner, hitting in my block, and I'm just like, oh my goodness, this is not gonna go well, okay? And so you see, I'm, I'm in the corner, which is where I don't wanna be, you know, sliced him, but of course he's immune to, uh, you know, bleed. And even though I'm getting beat down, I had to admire the fire coming from Dragon Man. I like Dragon Man, and I think he's a lot of fun. All right, so here we go, firing off that fire again, boom. Okay, and I made sure I got hit a little bit so that I could take away the indestructible. If you don't know how that works, you need to take a blocked hit, parry, something, uh, and it'll remove the uh, indestructible charge. Fortunately, um, they don't stack. Like right there, I parried, now I can do damage, all right? And this fight was epic as far as I was concerned, okay? Because I was nervous and I'm looking and I'm like, man, I think Warlock can do this, you know? It was about halfway through the fight and I'm just like, Warlock, Warlock is a beast. He can really do this. And I got him down. And I was so happy with that. I'm like, Warlock is awesome. I already knew he was awesome, but this right here, beast mode, all right? So I know a lot of people that want a Warlock that don't have him. I think uh, Legacy wants him, and you can see why. Most of my health, I didn't lose a lot of health either, all right? So I took a little breather there, and now I got to face Hyperion, or Hyperion. Um, shout out to Darky Diggity Dave. Uh, but anyway, now going into this fight, when I fought with uh, Nick Fury against Sasquatch, I was very nervous because I did not want to lose Nick Fury's life because I knew I was going to have to fight this guy. And how I fight him is I need the real Nick Fury to be hidden. I want to fight him with the life model decoy active like we are here because I know that I'm gonna eat a special three, okay? So you see the uh, buffs we're gonna have to deal with here on this node, uh, same same thing. And no real strategy other than to go hard. Uh, if you can evade, I mean, uh, bait out one of his specials, great. Otherwise, just try and do as much damage as you can. Okay, you see, I'm, I'm trying to bait out that special and he's not one to throw it. So that's why I needed the life model decoy to be active. You know, I'm like, come on, throw your special, throw your special. He's just folding his arms. That's exactly why I need it. So boom, and the real Nick Fury is still not out. But because he did a special three, he has those celestial charges, um, he's gonna be doing more damage. But now he's happy to throw his special, okay? Um, He's also um, a stubborn uh, defender, I believe. Uh, so uh, Nick Fury counters that beautifully. There he goes with his heavy. And I'm like, am I gonna have to eat another one? But no, he fired off a special two. And so we're just going in. And at this point, we got him down, okay? And so I'm just like, man, love my Nick Fury. We actually came out of that with 
the life model decoy still active. So we still have that little buffer. All right, so the mini isn't cleared, but if you see what mini that was, it was a void. I can't fight void. Um, I could have fought him with my uh, Nick Fury, but it wouldn't have turned out well. So 15 hours, almost 15 hours later, um, I'm live streaming now, and they're asking me to go in and fight either Black Widow Clairvoyant or this Terax. Well, I was going to go to Black Widow Clairvoyant, but one of my alliance mates beat me to it because that fight, of course, was an easier fight. Nobody wanted to fight this stunning reflection node. People hate this node, and I don't blame them. I hate it myself. Okay, and then you're fighting Terax. Now, fighting Terax, the only thing I knew to do was to try to stay away from him in the beginning. Of course, he's going to be backing me into the corner and then do what I can. And you can see someone already went in and uh, wasn't able to get him down, but they did a little bit of damage. So now I'm trying to do this live. Already don't like this. And I'm trying to concentrate on not parrying him because if I parry him, the fight is over. All right. So you see here, I'm blocking a lot, just trying to dash back. He got me in the corner um, and boom. All right. We are fighting our way out of the corner here. OK, don't want to stay in that corner. And I just want to push him back at this point, you know, do as much damage as I can. And, and we're doing some decent damage. Uh, our damage is, is more than uh, the first attempt at him. So, you know, but now I know what's going to happen. And I told them this before. OK, just look at this. Now I'm in the corner, right? And I got the uh, indestructible, all of that. And we went down uh, because when he has his rock field active, which I knew he would have, um, and he would just back me into the corner and then just wreck me. I could be evading all of his, but that rock field would just tear me up. OK, so I knew that was going to happen, but we almost got him down. Almost. Now, I'm in a pretty bad uh, position here because I don't have any glory left right now and I don't have any health potions and I don't want to use units. Okay, so I'm going in with my beast mode warlock here, right? And uh, we're just doing the same thing. All right, there we go. Rockfield expired and now we're going at him, trying to push him back so that we're not right in the corner. Okay, we've got him infected. All right, so I'm like, all right, we should be good, you know, but man, that damage, he's uh, putting some work on me, okay? And then here we go again, all right? He's got his rock field up, and now what I need to do is just stay out of that corner, right? But it's hard to do, okay? Just look at this, boom, just got messed up. You know, I can't push him away because in pushing him away, I'm still in that rock field. And then he gets those indestructibles, so I'm not really doing any damage. So I was about to go in with Nick Fury at the last because um, I'm pretty sure Nick Fury would have been able to tear him up. But uh, my alliance mate got in there before I did, and I knew he would be able to clear it out, which he did. Uh, both of them, he was probably boosted up. And so I went back to my stream. So that was my participation in this war. And it was a very difficult war, all right? Very close. Uh, these guys were tough, all right? So in a little bit here, you see he got him down. In a little bit, we're going to come back and you'll find out just how this war ended. All right, and we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. Uh, shout out to Homicidal Maniacs Incorporated. You guys did a wonderful job. Um, I was on the edge of my seat because those defenders, man, you gave me work. All right. Um, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. This is a tier two war. Uh, we have now won our first six wars of the season. So we're in a pretty good position, but here's something funny. Uh, and not that we're going to throw any of the uh, later wars, but it would almost benefit us to lose a war because then it would go down 
and the wars will be a little bit easier because remember we're not pushing to try and get into masters or platinum one or anything like that um platinum four platinum three would be just fine you know i think we want to try and get platinum three okay so uh we don't need to fight these really tough wars uh to get platinum three so we'll see how it goes uh no one's talking about throwing uh any wars or anything like that we're still going to make you know effort uh we had a couple of people leave uh due to personal reasons um i mean we're on a winning streak here and it's in the middle of the season but um they had some uh, family issues personal issues come up unavoidable uh so we'll see how the next war uh does okay so that's gonna do it take care click like subscribe leave a comment let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day